So this smile is especially for uh, you, Tilly. <laughs> uh, she said I should smile more in my next video. So um, yeah, I thought I'd post another video today because I've had a few little interesting developments. Um, and uh, you know, I need to get back into the habit of doing this so that um, I can be accountable to you guys and uh, to myself. So. Let's get a uh, crack on with the uh, figures. So I've got some exciting news. This morning I was 82.8 kilograms, which is my lowest weight. So if I look at uh, 83.5 was my previous uh, lowest. So I'm now 700 grams lower than I've been in this journey. Um, it's not saying a lot because you know you know there's a lot of things uh, that influence your weight uh, by up to a kilogram or more a day you know water weight and what's in your system and I've got a dirty little secret that I'm going to tell you soon um, so that's 182 pounds and um, interesting so if we look at uh, so the overnight um, loss or the you know the day-to-day -day loss is one kilogram uh, or 2.2 pounds and um, so if I look at the average over the last uh, five days um, it's actually very interesting I'll just quickly move myself out the way a little bit so you can see there can you see that chart no it needs to move a bit more I'll move myself up there um, so what I'm talking about is, um, so I've lost 5.3 kilograms in the five days, which is an average of 1.1 kilograms, um, a minimum of 8.8 and a maximum of 1.4. So it's quite consistent, um, except that there is an outlier and I'll tell you about that in a second. And then to see for all of you American folk, I'll do that in pounds. So that's 11 pounds, 11.7 pounds, or an average of 2.3 pounds a day, which I think is pretty impressive considering I'm not dry fasting. This is, you know, this is wet fasting. Plus, my secret is I had a refeed last night. <laughs> so the whole day yesterday, I was feeling quite hungry, very hungry. I had a sore stomach, I was having pangs. And um, I was severely tempted the whole day. And eventually I caved and I had a, an omelette. So I had a three egg, uh, free range egg omelette. It's actually three, two eggs and then one yolk of an egg because I dropped the egg on the floor. So I just took the yolk and uh, mixed it in. Oh, and I need to sit back so that I don't cut my face off. Um, and then, so the, it was an omelette with... Uh, literally with cheddar cheese in it and cayenne pepper and that was it um, and I had one or two extra slices of cheese and I was then severely tempted to have a brioche roll which I bought for my family to eat and um, I actually took the brioche roll out of the packaging and I, I bit into it and then I spat it out again and uh, put it back. And then several times I looked at the, in, in the freezer, there was um, some delicious ice cream there, you know, that sort of like King Cone ice cream, uh, caramel flavor, which is my favorite. And I, um, I took it out actually, and I, I walked to the uh, lounge twice with it and, and I put it back. And I'm glad I didn't have that because that would have kicked me out of ketosis and probably meant my overnight weight loss uh, wasn't great. So the one kilogram loss is including, you know, having eaten a meal. And I haven't had a bowel movement yet, so that's still in me. Now, it wasn't very heavy, probably 300 grams, maybe. Um, so, so that's the story. Um... I've also got uh, quite a lot of pain at the moment, which um, I am trying to isolate, uh, and it f and I believe it's my hemorrhoids that are busy healing. Um, now, if none of you have had 
hemorrhoids you i know what it feels like but if you've had it you'll know that it's sort of like a, a pain that transfers down into your legs and you know, sort of into into your groin area um you know you know which um can vary in intensity but at the way that i've experienced it over the last 24 hours has been like a quite a dull constant pain um I'm not. Sh I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. Um, I don't think it's my kidneys. Um, I, I had a kidney shot um, yesterday and today. In fact, I'm having them daily, which is apple cider vinegar plus um, uh, a little bit of bicarb just to bring the acidity down, you know, to a reasonable uh, pH. And um, so, looking at my body, I'm definitely eating into the weight uh, the fat around my belly which is nice uh, but i've still got you know quite a, an, an amount around my hips but um it feels quite soft so i i'm pretty sure it's been eaten into so you know the plan at the moment uh, being a wednesday is i'm gonna carry on as i am no reason to change and no reason to refeed either because now the big problem with the refeed is that last time i did it after 17 days um okay it was a bigger refeed than this one it, you know it was like meats and uh, i even had a roll and, and you know I, what was a it was a chicken kebab plus a roll and other things on the beach this time it was more controlled um but the big problem with the refeed is psychologically it really challenges you because you, you just keep thinking about food and, and when you're busy refeeding you think okay you know I'm doing this I might as well put a bit of extra in and then you start looking for things to eat you know it's really tough so I really want to stay away from a refeed until I'm well 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 into my goal which is to be in the 70s and um, you know, at this rate, I'll be in the 70s on the weekend. So I may well then be into the final stretch. If I can continue to lose at this rate, then by, let's say, 10 days from now, I should be um, where I want to be, which I think is low 70s, 72, 73, somewhere there, which would be amazing. So that's my update. And I just want to encourage uh, all of my family and friends and all of you watching, you know, don't dismiss this um, uh, fasting as starv a starvation, you know, extreme diet. Um, I've only had positive health outcomes from this. And I've got two doctors who I work with uh, in my restaurant and I've spoken through everything with them and they are fully supportive of what I'm doing. You know, the things that we've all been taught medically uh, over the last 50 years are completely uh, subjective and actually a, a lot of things are inaccurate and just blatantly wrong. Uh, so please don't take what, you know, conventional, you know, wisdom says about fasting and use that as an excuse to stay obese or unhealthy because you know, when I spoke to the doctors, they agreed with me that it was far better to do this than to stay obese, you know, with high blood pressure, high heart rate, high cholesterol, you know, and all of the inflammation around the joints and all of the issues with being overweight. Just go out there and do it. And, you know, I'm, I'm more than willing to coach anybody who approaches me. Um, this, uh, this lifestyle doesn't need to be difficult. In fact, for me, it's been much easier than anything else I've ever done. Um, if you do it right, you, you know, you feel great, honestly, while you're doing it. Like now, five, on my sixth day, I feel much lighter. My head is clearer. Um, okay, I didn't sleep so well last night because I've had, you know, I had the pain, which I believe is the hemorrhoids, uh, healing. But, um, guys, you know... You, you add so much quality to your life by doing this. Um, it's worth it. Leaving aside the weight loss, you know, the, the mental clarity uh, that you get and the other health issues. I mean, right now, um, you know, right now, my, my um, 
blood pressure and heart rate is probably you know in a very very healthy um, range in fact what I'll do is the world's first live measure of uh, of my heart rate oh, it's actually upside down so we have to turn it around let's see how it goes so yeah you know just uh, just on this um, the way to do it right is to cut out the sugars in your diet reduce the carbs okay and then start eating less frequently so if you're eating three times a day cut it down to two for a couple of days and then if you can cut it down to one okay there, there was an error unfortunately because it was upside down uh, so cut down your eating frequency cut out sugars and carbs and um, and then you're setting yourself up to be able to do this without you know to actually go on a long-term electrolyte fast without too many um, withdrawal symptoms and issues and then you know start out maybe do three or four days of fasting and then refeed on a light keto you know carb-free meal and then start extending it but actually if you're overweight there's no reason that you can't just go longer than that I mean you, you know You've literally got hundreds of thousands of calories. There we go. There's my, so I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's probably reversed. Okay, so it's 119 over 93. So the 93 is a bit higher than I was expecting. And my heart rate, as, as I'm talking to you now, is 86, which is high, higher than it normally is. Um, but still, you know, my, my heart rate, I mean, my blood pressure when I, um, before I started this journey was like 165 over 110 and my resting heart rate was 90 or something like that. But, um, if I rest properly, my heart rate will probably be in the seventies, uh, or low, low seventies, high sixties. Um, so What happened there? Are you still there? It looks like my video is frozen. Okay, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, I'm not sure if this is still working. Uh, I can see my sound is being recorded. Um, have a great day and I'll speak to you t tomorrow.